Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Welcome back. Busy day of high school basketball in the Grand Valley and the rest of the Western Slope with high school teams coming down the stretch of the season. Let's kick things off with the Palisade Bulldogs looking to end their regular season on a high note. They're taking on the Battle Mountain Huskies. The last time these two teams got together, Palisade hung over 90 on the board. Senior day for the Bulldogs looking to pick up one final win to boost that playoff resume. Cool moment for the Bulldogs team right out of the gate in this one. Senior center Zach Anderson has been dealing with an injury. They let him take the opening tip off and the Bulldogs senior does win the jump. But it would be the Huskies who land the first shot of the night. Mitch Petrovsky buries the jumper there, and early on, this one would be all Huskies. The Battle Mountain Junior Blake Roberts with the steal, taking it up court, and then taking it to the rim himself, going over that Bulldog defender. Bulldogs falling behind, needing some sort of spark here. Hunter Howard is going to get the steal after the Bulldogs work the ball around, and he takes it all the way the other way back for the Bulldog bucket. That must have helped get the Bulldogs offensive gear because after trailing 9 to 14 in the first, the Bulldogs got going and route to a 68 to 50 win. The Bulldogs finish their season at 10 and 13 and await their potential playoff fate. All right, now let's head over to Central High School. Warriors in the middle of playing three games in three days, but they get about as tough an assignment as you can in game two with the Fruta Monument Wildcats. Fruta up 41 to 29 here, make it 43 there on the Jet Wells floater. Wells would also be distributing the rock well in this one, getting in a transition up to the big Daniel Thomason, the Wildcat Jr. with the slam with authority over the head of that Warrior defender with two hands. Warriors, though, they wouldn't go down without a fight. Cam Redding through traffic here. He's going to connect from mid-range to keep the Warriors scoring, but that's not going to do you much good if you can't slow down Thomason and the rest of that Cats offense. There he goes again, this time not as flashy, but still fighting through defense, and it's worth the same amount of points with the layup. Actually, it would wind up being worth one more. He knocks down the free throw there for the three-point play. And how about a little steal and score action from the Cats? Lopez with the recovery here. He takes it the other way, laying it in. Fruta handles their business, winning 63-39 to over Grand, their Grand Valley rivals and moved to 22-0. and Still perfect with one game left between them and a regular season that was perfect. A couple more final scores have come across the desk. On the boys' side of things, it was a bad day to be a Pirate as the Olathe Pirates and Green River Pilots, Pirates fall to Beck and Ray with the win for the Dragons. They boost their record to 15-3. and three. On the girls' side, Palisade and Fruta Girls, they must have set the tone for the boys' team that followed them later tonight because they both pick up wins as well with the wins over Battle Mountain and with the win over Battle Mountain, Palisade Girls finished their season perfect in league play at 6-0. And on the baseball diamond.